Lauren, and today I'm going to be reacting to my 5 star prediction videos. So I kind of done this before 3 years ago and I reacted to two 5 star predictions that I made in the past and I thought I would do it again and see if I actually read my 5 star predictions. I kind of have a feeling that I haven't, but we'll see. But So let's get to the reaction. <laughs> Okay, so here are my videos right here, and I'm going to find the, the first one that I did for a while. Uh, let's see. I know I was somewhere like November-ish area, but I'm going to go to the one that, that I'm reacting to first. Ah, there it is. Number three. Now I'm just gonna fast forward to the ones that I'm predicting five stars. Side of Falling by Alex Light, which is about a girl who I I read that one earlier this year and I really enjoyed it. It was five stars for me, and I know she has another book coming out this year that I'm excited about. And let's get to the next book. One. It is the show between us by Trisha Levin Seller. If you guys don't know, <laughs> I still have not read The Shadows Between Us. I know it's it's still a five star prediction for me. I'm gonna make that high priority because not only she has another book that came out that I got, um, Blades of Secrets, which is gonna be a duology, and and I know she has another one that's coming out next year, um, Vengeance of the Pirate Queen, which I'm really excited about because that's a, like a spin-off series of Daughter of a Pirate King, which is one of my favorite duologies ever. So, yeah, I uh, I still have not read The Shadows Between Us. I, it was a standalone, but then it decide, but then she decided to make a sequel out of it. So I'm really want to read that before that comes out. So, yeah, let's get to the next book. The next book that I think will be a five-star read for me is The Princess Will Save You by Sarah Henning, which is a princess... Yeah, I've read that. It was... Five stars. I love that book so much. I do want to read the second book in this series, and the, the third book just came out last year. I want to finish up that series, but I am so behind on series right now. It's not even funny. I have like over thirty sequels I need to work on, and that's I'm trying, still trying to catch up on the sequels that I'm very behind on, and get to that. But hopefully, I'll read the Queen Will. Br Portray You, that's the second book in the series, and um, The King Will Kill You, I think that's the last book in the series. I I, I'm pretty, I know it has King in the title, I, I know that, but I love the, prin the Princess Will Save You. I just can't wait to continue on with this series. So, next book. And the next book that I'm um, hoping will be a five star for me is um, A Heart So Fierce and Broken by um, Roger Cameron, which is the second book. I have read that. Unfortunately, it wasn't five stars. It was four stars for me. It's still a good rating. It's just I did not expect to not follow Harper and Ren. You follow Gray and another character, as far as I know. I You only get a little snippets of Harper and Ren's story, which kind of disappointed me because I love those characters. I didn't like Gray that much, but I still want to finish up that trilogy, um, which it, in the third book is called... Uh, a vow so bold and deadly I think that's what it's called so I do want to finish up that trilogy still I still love the first book even though the second book is kind of like my least favorite of the series so far but I do hope um I'll love the the last book of the series so yeah so yeah I did read this but I only gave it four stars so on to the next book I have not read Bones Cryer's Moon. I still want to read that, which is about a girl who's um, destined to kill her true love or something like that. I'm trying to remember from the synopsis. I know the second book came out last year. It's only a duology. So I do still hope to read that and read the second book if I end up liking it. But I still have not read that. So <laughs> I do need to read that as much as other five-star predictions I haven't 
read so far that I'm confirmed or all that. So, yeah, I do do still want to read that. So, still haven't read it. <laughs> so, on to the next book. <laughs> I still have not read Blood Honey. I really want to. I know Gods and Monsters, which is the last book of the Serpent and Dove series, just came out last year, and I really want to catch up on the series, so you can tell that I am so behind on sequels. So I do really want to read Blood Honey. I probably will try to prioritize that, like, after all the stuff that's going on in my personal life because uh, like I said my brain slump is kind of purposely a rain slump just because of everything going on in my personal life but I will catch up on reading as soon as all that's done so I and it's over 500 pages which they do intimidate me but I do really want to continue on with that series so I do hope to catch up on that but yeah next book I have read that, and it was five stars, and I'm just really sad that that series has... I finished up that series. It's one of my favorite trilogies of all time, even though, like, I know, like, and contemporary-wise, it's... I am just love the series. I do hope to reread in the future, so I... Because I love Laura Jean and Peter and all those characters, and I literally binge-read each book of the series every time the movie comes out which was a lot of fun for me and I just can't wait to reread the books again when I want to pick them up again and then rewatch the movies because I, I love the movies so much and I just love how the actors portray the characters and all that but yeah Always and Forever Laura Jean was five stars f for me and I learned it was one of the books I cry have that I've cried and I rarely cried over books over the years I became a reader but that book literally made me cry because I'm like, no, the story, their story ended and there's no more. So, yeah, but still, that was still uh, five stars. So the next book. Five star for me, but the next book that I'm get, hoping to get five stars is The Guinevere's Deception by Kirsten White, which is a... I, I've read it, but I think I gave it five, four stars. Um, I did enjoy... The book I read, like, within a day or something, and I did really like the, um, how it's a retelling of King Arthur, but about Queen Guinevere, and she, and she's, um, a changeling, that's, that's a fancy, that's a kind of a twist to that, and, and apparently, like, she, like, teams up with Merlin or something, I don't remember, it's been a while since I've read it, it was, like, two years ago that I, no, it was last year that I've read it, yeah. Last year, I still enjoyed it. I want to continue on with the series because I really liked on this story, and I'm I might have always loved the story of King Arthur, even though I haven't read the actual classic yet. But yeah, I still recommend if you're looking for a retelling that uh, a, re a retelling in general, I do recommend that. But yeah, um, next book. I still haven't read it. I've heard nothing but good things about it when I first heard about it, so I keep thinking it's going to be five stars for me. I still think it is, but I still have not read it. I know they came out with, um, like, four more books that are, like, each of them are retellings of Shakespeare, like, different Shakespeare plays, which got me excited about it, and I, again, I still haven't read it, and I know they had an adult book that just came out called The Rough Draft, which is grabbing my interest. And I think there was a cover change with these books. I don't remember, but I'm not liking the cover change. But I still want to read it because I, I I know that I want to read those books. And yeah, it's still I have not I still have not read Always and Always Never Yours. So I do want to read it. So next book. Okay, I still have not read that one either. I honestly, 
I know I've got picked up that book because um Haley from Haley and Bookland I really enjoyed it like a few years ago and she talked about it a lot and it kind of made me want to read it because I think I found it at Half Price Books actually or I got I don't remember but I still still grasp my interest just because it's about a girl who's taking her sister's place as a travel guide in Europe and then she meets um um, a guy, that's all I know about it, and I do want to read it still, because I do like a lot of books that deals with um, travel, and plus, since they mentioned about main character having a sister, I do like a lot of sibling relationships, too. That kind of um, catches my interest a lot, so yeah, I still have not read Wonderlust, but uh, next book... I still have not read Stay Sweet. I do want to read that as well. I know it's about a girl who takes a job at an ice cream parlor and then the owner died and the nephew or grandson is taking over or something like that. I don't know, but it sounds really cute. I do want to read that and and I do and it's a good summary. I probably will just read it any time of year because usually I don't read books that have been a season most of the time, but still, I think it seems like a really cute story. But yeah, I still have not read Stay Sweet yet. So, next book. Next book that on my five-star prediction list is Well Met by um, Jen DeLuca, which is... I have read that. It was five stars for me. I, I love that book. Oh my gosh, I love Simon. He... I don't know why uh, he reminds me of Kevin Alive, who is my fiance, my soon to be husband, and I'm just, I just really starting to love characters that reminds me of my significant other, which is something I never experienced before. But I'm just, it just kind of makes me happy a bit, just because I'm like, yeah, that reminds me of my guy, my significant other. So, yeah. But again, it was five stars for me. I, it's so cute. I can't wait to continue on with the series. It's a companion. Novel, so I'm. I still can't wait to continue on with the series from Well Met. So that, yeah, that was the last one of that video. So let me get to the other one. Oh, it was right there. <laughs> oh, so let me get to the next five star prediction video real quick. Okay, just gonna skip right to the. Thing. This one's like shorter than the other one for some reason, but I know like I've put a lot on this one, but which we shall see. I still have not read that book. That book caught my eye just because of that beautiful cover. I don't know why. It just really reminds me of the Haunted Mansion a bit, which is one of my favorite Disney rides, and... Uh, as far as I know, it's about a girl whose brother is getting possessed or something like that, or he performed dark magic, which is not allowed, and then something bad happens. That's all I know about it, but I just love that cover. It reminds me of the Haunted Mansion. That's why I got it. I know it was featured in a book box last year, but I still want to give that book a try just because it reminds... I, again, I love that cover because it reminds me of the Haunted Mansion ride at Disney, and... I, and that would be a really good spooky read, so I might say that for, like, for Halloween or something in October. But we shall see. I still want to read it because it, it sounds... I haven't heard anybody talk about it in book two, which is really strange. I know I just got it from Barnes & Noble before it closed down near me, so now the nearest one by me is, like, kind of further away, but... The one closest to me closed last year, which is still sad. That's why I bought a bunch of books last year. But yeah, I still want to read it, and hopefully it'll be a five-star read for me. But I might save it for Halloween this year. But who knows? So, the next book. The next book that I think will be five-star for me is A Fire and Stars by Audrey Coulters. This is about... I still have not read that, and unfortunately, I did add that to my self-destruct pile if you haven't seen that video i 
did a video on these books will self-destruct in 12 months and I still haven't read any of them. I might pick that one up first just because it's a five-star prediction I made last year but now I'm like maybe it's not five stars for me but I, I, I'll, it'll be surprising to me but I might do that but but again I still haven't read it so uh, next book. <laughs> I still haven't read Instructions for Dancing. This is a latest Nicola Yoon book about a girl who just re recently went through a breakup and she believe she doesn't believe in true love and, and all that. And then she meets this guy in dancing class and that's all I really know. I do really want to pick it up because it sounds really cute. And plus, I do like Nicola Yoon's books. Yeah, the sun, sun is Also a Star is my favorite favorite of hers and I do hope the instruction for dancing will become one of my favorites as well. I did like everything everything but the sun is also a star is my favorite from her book but still haven't read instructions for dancing and I do hope they'll end up enjoying it as much as her other books. So next book. And the next book that I hope will be five stars is Unravel the Dust by Melissa Lim. This is a safe I still have not read Unravel the Stars uh, or Unravel the Dusk. Oh gosh, I am, I am so sorry. I am. Don't know why I. It's unraveled the dusk. That's the second book in the. I forgot the duology is called. I know. Um, Spend the dawn is the first book, and I gave that five stars. And I do hope the sequel's five stars. I know she came out with two other books since then, and I do want to give them a try, which is six. Um, Crimson Cranes. That's the first one of a new series, and then the sequel is coming out sequel of that is coming out this year and I do really want to read that and I love Elizabeth Lynn's writing style and I just love her characters from Spin the Dawn and I do hope to pick up Unravel the Dusk but which I haven't yet so we shall see if I do need to catch up on my five star predictions which I kind of figured that but let's see other five star predictions I haven't read yet but let's get to the next book I still haven't read that one either. As far as I know, I know this is like her latest book that came out last year, but it's a, according to Goodreads, it's a retelling of something, but I don't know what retelling of it, what retelling it is of, but I still want to read that soon, but I don't know when, but I did really like, like, the, the cover's like really pretty, and I also like the end papers, but I still haven't read that yet, because I know I've read... The House of Sarn Sorrows by uh, by the same author, and I give that four stars. I still enjoy. That's why I want to read Small Favors to see if I like that more than House of Sarn Sorrows. But I still haven't read that yet. So yeah, let's get to the next book. The next book that I hope it would be five star for me is um, Soul of Sword by Julie Kagawa. This is the same. I still have not read that. I do really want to continue on with the series because the first book, um, Shadow of the Fox, really reminds me of one of my favorite anime shows, and that's why I liked about it so much. It was a, even though it's four stars, it's still a good rating, and I do hope the other books are um, five stars, and I do really want to continue on with the series because I like the first book so much, and I still haven't. I am. You can see why I said that I've been really bad at keeping up with the sequels, which I mentioned earlier in this video, but. Yeah, I don't need to catch up on my five-star predictions, but I still haven't read that book, so let's get to the next book. And the next book that I'm hoping will be five-star for me is Once Upon a Broken Heart by... I did read that. It was four stars. I did like the book. I don't know why I did not enjoy the audiobook, which is very weird. It, like, it took me a while to read it, and that's really unusual because I love the Carvel series on audiobook, but with this one, I'm like, this audiobook is so weird. I don't, I didn't like it as much as the Carvel books. That's the sad part for me. And I do hope the second book in the series is, uh, is called the, the Ballad of Never After. I do hope that will be better than this one. I, and I think that that's my guess anyway, but I do really, I did like it. Don't get me wrong. I'm just 
didn't like the audiobook for some reason. That's why my rating for it went down to four stars. But it's like I like the characters and the world still, but I, I just didn't like the audiobook as much. But yeah, I did read that. So let's get to the next book. Five star for, five star for me is If the Shoe Fits by Julie Murphy. This is... I still have not read If the Shoe Fits. Apparently it's a retelling of Cinderella by an adult romance form and I know they have like like each book of a series is going to be by different authors but with different re contemporary retellings of these fairy tales which sounds really cool but I still haven't read If the Shoe Fits and I do want to read that because I really I have not read any Julie Murphy book before and I thought this would be a good start because I know she wrote um, the Dumpling series I know they're a companion novels as well um, I know she wrote other books but I forgot what they were, but I do want to give this author a try because I know I've heard nothing but good things about her other books, and I thought If the Shoe Fits would be a, a good start, but we shall see. And like I said, I need to catch up on my five-star predictions. I'm pretty sure I said this like three times in this video already. So let's get to the next book. The book that I'm predicting as five stars is Stepsister by Julie Don. Jennifer Donnelly. This is a I still have not read that one either. <laughs> you can tell that a lot of books I'm predicting five stars are retellings because I really love a good retelling and this one is about on the Cinderella's stepsister's perspective which really grabbed my interest um, first of all and I still haven't picked it up yet and that shelf that book has been on my shelves for like maybe two or three years I don't remember but I still want to read that one. But I still haven't read it. So, next book. Five stars in this one. I have never heard anybody talk about it in booktube, which is The Super Villain and Me by Danielle Bannis. I think that's... Yeah, I've read that. It was five stars. I really enjoyed it. Like, and I, and I mentioned that in the video, and I'm going to mention it again. I haven't heard anybody talk about it on booktube. I probably would like to do another underrated books recommendations because there are some books that people talk about on booktube and some haven't and I know I have a lot of unread books that I haven't heard anybody talk about on booktube but but again I I've read that it was five stars so yeah let's get to the next book and I think this is oh this is the last one okay so yeah that was it for my five star predictions I have not read I have read a little bit of my five star predictions but I have a lot of catching up to do so yeah I hope you enjoy this video and let me know which uh, if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and give me a thumbs up and let me know comment down below from all the five star predictions that I mentioned I haven't read which one I should prioritize uh, more <laughs> if you haven't already click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you know if I ever post new videos also you can follow me on social media like Facebook Twitter Instagram and Goodreads which all links will be down below for you guys Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!